Hello everyone, it's John here. Today we're going to show you how to wire up a, uh, a heat detector to a fire alarm. So, yeah. So, what you're going to need is, um, I'm just going to, so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to wire up this to this. So, yeah. This heat detector, uh, this is the only heat detector I have. I actually now tested it and it works. Um, this is a, uh, I think it's a Honeywell or a, an Adamico or or whatever, however you say it, or what kind of heat detector it is. I honestly, I don't know what kind of what brand who made what made this detector or anything, but I don't know. But yeah, we're using this small heat detector, and we're going to use a we're going to use my Faraday 5508 12 volt strobe with this with this um, how to wire video. So so. Let's get started. So all you're gonna need, you know, you're gonna need your batteries, the heat detector you want to use, and the fire alarm you want to use. I mean, it could be a horn strobe, strobe, uh, remote horn, uh, speaker strobe, chime. Well, I just only use the strobe on the speaker strobe. But well, chime strobe, chime bell, etc. But yeah. So all you gotta do, yeah, pick a heat detector, no matter what it is. With this heat detector, but this will only work with conventional. All right, this will not work with addressable. So. That's all I have to say here. So, all right, because we're using an addressable heat detector will not work with this. Or if it's an addressable notification appliance like the addressable True Alerts, those will not work. All right, this will only work with conventional. That's it. So, but anyway, let's get started. So, first of all, we're going to start off with the heat detector first. So, see, you got the wires here. Okay. And, and um, the screw terminals. So, you know, there's a screw term. So you got your in and then you got your out. See, that's the in, that's the out. I know some heat detectors will have like a plus and minus sign. Um, this, you know, if you're going to use like the negative or whatever, if you're going to put it onto the detector, put it onto like the negative and then put the positive or whatever going out and then you wire up to the fire alarm here. So I'm going to show you. So we're going to set this down. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the red, see the red wire, we're going to use this for the... We're going to move that out of the way real quick. Then see what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to here. Alright. Alright, so that's, that's, that's going to be going in, so that's going to be the positive. So what you're going to do is we're going to grab the wire from here. This other one, we're gonna hook it up to the other side. All right, all right. So now the wire, now the wire is hooked up to the air heat detector. See the positive goes in, the power goes in like that. Then you got now we got to hook this up. So let's put this one. So the positive that goes to the to the positive or whatever, put it to your positive, or if you use a negative, just do it to the negative side. Or the ground or whatever. So I'm gonna hook this up to the to the positive wire, and then yeah. So then basically you guy got the positive circuit, or if you're using the negative circuit, then you can use the negative circuit. Well, I'm using the positive. So all right, and then all we gotta do is we're gonna use the since we got the positive already hooked up, we're gonna hook up the ground wire. So let's hook the ground wire up and. Connected like there, and see now that now the pause now the negatives connected. So, if you got your heat detector wired up, then and you have you know you have your screw terminals so like all your wires screwed into the screw terminals or anything, then you wired everything up correctly like I showed you here, then you're good to go. So, by the way, let's go test this unit. So, let's go test this. So I'm just gonna set down. All right. So, grab a lighter. Alright, well, before I do that, let's move this wire out of the way. And then what you gotta do, use like, you can use like a hair, like a hair dryer, heat gun. You can use, you know, a wire, but I recommend more of a, a hair dryer or a heat gun because it's a little bit more safer. So, but anyway, let's that shit chair, let's just get right onto it, so.
All right. And you can see it activated. It's going to stay activated until it's until it cools down. And then when it cools down enough, then it's, gonna, then it's done. Here, I click. Yep, I heard the click on the heat sector. It means and strobe's not flashing no more. So it means we're, it's done. So yeah, I hope this video showed you how if you want to like ever wire up a heat detector to a fire alarm, then there you go. So I hope this video, uh, you know, it helped you out if you wanted to actually want to try something out like this. But but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to show you. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and of course subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, everyone.